It's hard to believe that our everyday habits, such as how we sleep, could lead us to an early grave. However, medics in China claim that people who nap throughout the day, snore, and have poor nighttime sleep could be at risk of fatty liver disease. A night of poor sleep can leave you feeling tired, unfocused, and demotivated for the rest of the day, putting your mental and physical health at risk. Good sleeping habits or sleep hygiene can not only help you rest well, but also reduce the risk of heart diseases and poor mental health. In today's video, we'll discuss unhealthy sleeping habits that can kill you and how to avoid them. Number 1. Napping for too long Experts at Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China studied 5,000 adults with fatty liver disease. They found that snoring and daytime napping for over 30 minutes increased the risk of this condition. Participants who tried to improve their sleep habits had a 29% reduction in risk of fatty liver disease. The study found that those who led stationary lifestyles and those who had obesity had poor sleep quality compared to others. Small changes to improve sleep habits can make a huge difference and reduce the risk of fatty liver disease. According to another study, around 63% of adults in the UK are obese, with one in three living with fatty liver disease. This condition is also linked with other illnesses such as high blood pressure, kidney disease, and diabetes. It can be hard to spot the sign of fatty liver disease because this condition often doesn't show any symptoms. Still, when it does, they include an enlarged liver, exhaustion, red palms, abdominal pain, bloating, and yellowing of the skin. There is currently no specific treatment for fatty liver disease, but many reports claim that making healthy lifestyle choices and improving sleep habits can help. Number 2. Sleeping at Odd Hours Circadian rhythms are predictable biological cycles that synchronize essential mental and physical functions, such as hunger and sleep, for all living organisms. This cycle regulates when we're most likely to feel awake and focused and when we're supposed to feel tired and sleepy. Melatonin, the sleep hormone, is influenced by light. When exposed to sunlight during the daytime, melatonin production slows down, and you remain active. After sunset, when exposed to less light, melatonin production increases and you begin to feel tired. Sleeping in patterns opposite to our natural circadian rhythm can cause a hormonal imbalance that can make it difficult to sleep. An irregular sleep schedule that includes going to bed too late and sleeping in late can lead to insufficient sleep and insomnia. Maintain a consistent sleep schedule based on the time you need to wake up. Experts suggest aiming for at least 7-8 to eight hours of sleep every night. However, try to prepare for sleep at least one hour before to give yourself plenty of time to relax. Number 3. Eating Too Close to Bedtime We all love a good nighttime snack, but did you know that having a heavy meal right before bedtime can make it difficult for your body to relax and fall asleep? Moreover, sleeping while your food is still digesting can cause stomach acid to enter the esophagus, which can lead to heartburn and indigestion. This uncomfortable burning sensation can make you feel uncomfortable and keep you from falling asleep. As your mind and body get ready to relax, your metabolism slows down. Late night snacking can also trigger digestive issues that interfere with sleep. To avoid this issue, eat dinner at least two to three hours before bedtime, so that by the time you're in bed, your body has had enough time to digest. If you feel like snacking between dinner and bedtime, keep it light and go for sleep promoting foods such as cherries, bananas, almonds, and chamomile tea. Number 4. Using Technology in Bed Because melatonin, the body's sleep hormone, is influenced by light when we use electronic devices such as cell phones, laptops, e-readers, or tablets, the blue light from the screen can mimic the effects of sunlight, hampering melatonin production and our ability to sleep. The longer we keep staring at our electronic devices' screens, the harder it becomes for us to fall asleep. The content we consume from our electronic devices can also trigger anxiety, causing a flood of cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisol keeps the mind and body active, making it difficult to relax and sleep. To prevent blue light sleep interference, experts suggest reducing screen time at least two to three hours before bedtime. Instead of scrolling through your phone, try journaling or reading before bed. 
If you can't resist your devices, keep them out of reach or in a different room. Number five, working out before bed. Exercising releases endorphins, increases body temperature, and raises cortisol levels. The effects of a good workout can improve your mood and mental health in the morning and afternoon. However, exercising late at night can leave you full of adrenaline, which blocks sleep. You should avoid working out for at least one to two hours before bed. Instead, try doing gentle stretches before you go to bed. Stretching can help you relax physically and mentally and will help you fall asleep. Number six, coffee late in the day. Most of us are habitually caffeinated throughout the day to keep ourselves on our feet. However, your midday espresso can interfere with your sleep. Studies show that coffee's effects can last up to eight hours. Caffeine fuels the nervous system, causing increased brain activity and wakefulness, which do not boost sleep. You should avoid coffee and other caffeinated beverages such as tea and soda after 2 p.m., allowing your body time to completely digest the caffeine so that it doesn't keep you up at night. Poor sleep quality can mess up your life. Avoiding poor sleep hygiene can also prevent heart disease, depression, and type 2 diabetes. Want to learn more? Let's keep the conversation going. Watch 11 early warning signs of heart disease in men you shouldn't ignore, or nine warning signs you may have prediabetes. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both. On a scale of one to 10, how healthy are your sleep habits? Let us know in the comments below.